we're going to turn this absolutely adorable moron into an unstoppable monster. And that's actually going to be quite a challenge considering this fish has less than one damage. Because I mean, look at it. Does it seem dangerous to you? We're going to make a complete mockery of this entire ecosystem. Luckily we spawned right on top of a starfish so I can very slowly chew that apart and eventually consume it. I don't know if there's actually any smaller fish than this or ever have been. Luckily we can just tear this apart and we've already leveled up once. Our damage literally didn't change but our size grew a little bit. So basically we need to stay away from things like that because that thing just ate a great white hole. So we're going to focus on smaller fish for now. We'll eat him whole later. <laughs> and these poor guys, let's never get it figured out. I can actually eat them hole that's how useless those are little bit nervous about having that guy in the area but we're gonna go ahead and munch on a starfish if he comes too close we'll just zoom away because there's no better feeling in this world than spending hours grinding up a fish of a adequate size and then getting eaten in one bite by something else good news though my damage went up by 0.1 i guess if we have one advantage for all this it's that this fish is probably moderately fast uh we're gonna lure this fish into these other fish and hopefully they eat each other these are just clownfish so they're a joke themselves well this is a fun start i'm just being endlessly pursued pursued by that moron so we're gonna try and lose him in here hopefully it's a line of sight thing okay that actually worked after a minute he's finally on to chasing the clownfish we're gonna stay way away from that guy i've learned that other fish are incredibly dangerous so i'm gonna stick to defenseless starfish we managed level four so we're now a size 43 our damage did not increase there's another one of those aggressive fish i'll feel better once we put on some size because right now i'm pretty sure like a mosquito could swallow us whole and that would be not great i probably have pretty good vision with these enormous eyes though i feel like i can see 360 around me at all times I really don't remember what the story on these guys was, but I know I can eat them whole, so anytime I see those fish swirling uncontrollably, I'm gonna take them. Imagine existing basically just to be food for this fish of all things. Okay, we're up to 51 size, so we're, you know, the size of a pea. Not very intimidating yet. We're never gonna be that intimidating, but we're gonna get dangerous. Like, even when it eats these things, it's more cute than anything. We're just making an adorable monster. But we'll have the element of surprise. No one will run away from this, and then we'll swallow them whole. I wonder if I say swallow and whole enough this video if I'll get demonstrated. Monetized. Might be able to eat these whole now. I still can't. I'm uh, level 6 and I can't swallow a starfish entirely. You know what? That's fine though. I've got lots of time on my hands. I can sit here and eat starfish all day long. We're also starting to get to that scary point where I think I'm a bigger fish than I am so we're gonna go and try and eat other fish only to realize they're 10 times our size still and then they'll kill us instantly. But there's level 7, 67 size, 1.3 damage. We're over 1 damage now. Oh, those are definitely bigger than me. Probably faster too. I think it's safest if you eat like this facing the center of the map because there's not really a lot behind us that can get us that's just shallow water the danger is out there somewhere starfish and balls aren't working anymore we're gonna need to find something bigger to put in our mouth to get going there's these little yellow fish i'm quite sure i'm bigger than them at this point yep i sure am and i can eat them whole get in my mouth 24 experience i found an octopus or two i don't know if they're dangerous are you dangerous you don't look that dangerous but neither do i it's all in the attitude. All right, well, we're going to chew on you for a second. You, you don't seem to mind that much. They're not very, uh, they're very docile creatures, as it turns out. You can literally eat them alive, and they do very little about it. Got him. 40 experience. Well worth my time. All right, good news for you. Yeah, he looks pretty excited about that. Wait, where'd he go? You can't run from me. You're an octopus. Well, A for effort. I don't really like that we're wandering into open water now. This is a scary place to be. It will all be over soon. Once you get in my mouth, there's no getting out. I'm going to go ahead and take in one more starfish because that should just put us up to level 8 and I'll feel, feel a little better with a little extra size. Okay, there's level 8. Hopefully damage is actually up to 1.5. So that was a big jump in damage and size. We're 75 size, but we're like orb shaped. So it's going to be really hard to feel big. This is really just an adventure of progressively putting bigger things inside our mouth and also sometimes winding up in other things mouths so in other words kind of just a pretty typical monday i did not even see that there is a giant megalodon right there destroying everything i saw the shadow as i was looking that way so we're definitely not going near that okay and this is where those other sharks were so we're gonna scoot straight across and we're gonna stay nice and low it's pretty scary how giant fish like that can hide like that i would almost never see that until i went right into it there's also some little free-range idiots here that i'm gonna try and eat because they're way out in the open anyway Haha, <laughs> look at this idiot. Imagine living in the ocean and not being able to swim. I'll come back for you later. I was ambushed by that thing out of the blue. I have no idea where it came from, but that's not super great. Turns out we're still so weak that I'm mostly going to be eating things like this. And I should probably stick to this side of the map. The other side of the map is full of enormous fish. 
This one has them too, but they're not nearly as numerous. We need to get really, really big to be able to eat a fish even close to our size. Although, when opportunity strikes, turns out it's not actually stuck, so now I'm committed to chewing on its back for a while, hoping it can't turn. It is shaped like a dinner plate though, so I don't actually know if it can get me here. I'm like now phased into it for some reason, not really sure what's happening. Uh, as long as I stay on this side of it and not the business side of things, we'll be okay. If you didn't want to be eaten, you shouldn't have been shaped like a bowl. Okay, this is actually getting kind of stressful because it is trying to turn and bite me back. <laughs> but it can't turn very well. 1.1 damage at a time, the most epic battle there ever was. This is going to take like 45 minutes. The other turtle's just going to sit there and watch. Uh, at least I thought he was. I'm getting a lot of danger sounds that might actually be that other turtle now. He seems to be eyeballing me. I don't know if he can get me though, I'm like inside the turtle. Every once in a while he escapes my grip and then goes and crashes directly into something and then I start eating him again. I can confirm at this point that this was not an efficient use of my time, especially considering it's still not dead somehow. If you spawn in as a sea turtle, it has 193 HP, so I'm roughly basing this turtle's HP on that. I think it might have actually died, so now I'm just chewing it apart. That took a really, really long time at 1.1 damage. I don't know why I did this. I don't really know why I do anything. Any second now, this is going to turn into meat and then I'll get like half a level. I put so much work into a single turtle, it's almost absurd. Okay, it's finally turned itself into meat that's still too big for us to eat because of course it is, but we're that much closer. Okay, we turned into three little pieces of meat, uh, which is actually really good experience. We're up to level 10. This I'll break into, I think, three of those, so therefore nine of what I just ate. Or something thereabouts. I don't know. Get in my mouth. Level 12. Okay, that wasn't a... Well, it was still an absolute waste of time. That took a long time, but we're bigger now. 107 size, 3.2 damage. We just tripled our damage. And you know what? I feel girthier. I just... I just feel girthier. But for contrast, I could have just been eating things like this yellow fish the entire time. There's 24 easy experience and it took an instant. Oh, look at the turtle getting revenge on the tadpoles for me. I... Well, I'm gonna go for this. I know I don't have a lot of damage, but we're gonna hopefully tank through this. Oh, the turtle's coming in for the assist. Okay, that fish is looking really beat up. We're gonna just... We're just gonna have a firefight. I think we got it dead. So pretty soon we'll be able to eat it. Hopefully the turtle doesn't interfere. I just really wanted my revenge on this. This fish is an absolute... Ow! Nightmare to play us. Because it has no damage. It's just like a floating cupcake. Everything wants to eat it and it can't hurt anything. Like a stupid turtle almost just one-shotted me. It had me really, really hurt. Luckily, there was meat sitting in front of me, so I ate it and got away. If it wasn't for that, that turtle would have eaten me. Can I at least consume starfishes whole? I sure can. Why did that give me 112 experience? I won't complain. That just seems abnormally high. I usually have at least a half-baked theory as to why things are broken. This one I can't actually eat whole, so I'm not really sure what that's about. I'm not going to ask questions. Just put things in my mouth. Every level up now should bring my damage up by quite a bit. We just leveled up again. 3.8 damage. Yep, so that was like a 20% increase in damage just like that which still leaves me as dangerous as a cupcake but we're a little better than we were i starfish my way up another level 4.4 damage and i'm really not paying attention to where i'm going because if you care to look above me there is some really big mean fish but i can take my revenge on one of these little guys again our damage is way higher than before so it should be pretty easy to mulch this apart still way more bites than it has to be for such a weak tiny little fish but this is the choice we've made today i also kind of forgot that last time the turtle came in and saved us so this was a really reckless decision but but we did manage to kill it. And we got 80 experience for all of our danger and trouble. Like, I was gonna go up there, but there's a giant barracuda thing sitting there. So let's go anywhere but there. I did find a dory fish. So we'll put that in our mouth. We're actually getting pretty big. Bigger than where we started. Get in my mouth. I've got 124 size. Can I one-shot the starfish now? Well, that's something. I can continue to play very passively. Oh, except when it comes to this idiot. I hate these guys. We'll go ahead and eat you 4.4 damage at a time. Which gave us another 80 experience, so we're very close to level 15, and we're really gonna need every level for that little bit of damage it gives us. Okay, there's level 15. 5.2 damage. So damage is going up by full, like, one every level now, so we just need to find enough easy things to eat. And now we're starting to forget that these fish even existed. It's been so long since I found any. But that was another easy level, 6.1 damage, 140 size, so it's getting harder and harder for fish to one-shot us. But if anything attacks us, we're pretty much dead because we can't really fight back. But such is the life of a cupcake. Starfished up to level 17, 7.1 damage, which is a lot more than it was, but it's still not good. Anyway, to Hammerhead Shark Territory. That's, uh, normally when my fish is as big, I could probably fight that, given that on this fish, I can't fight that. I really don't love that shadow. Oh, is that just a dolphin? Hmm, we might be able to fight that. Would be so much better if we had more damage, this fish just has no damage at all. Luckily, there's a lot of these things kicking around. There's 18, so 8.2 damage. It's slowly getting better. There's a little baby crab here. I don't know if we can devour it. Oh, we can. 
cool. 80 experience for every crab we find, which is kind of odd because starfish still give me 120 if I eat them whole. 9.4 damage, 164 size. Another starfish, another day. What are you? You don't look dangerous, but you look fast. Okay, come here. We're going to take a bite out of you. If we can just manage to stun lock it like this, we could probably kill it. I don't think they're harmful to us. Okay, it is dead. We turned it into meat, and there we go. Oh, look who came swooping in to try and get the leftovers. Well, you know what? I'm just going to eat you too, since you've served yourself up to me so nicely. Okay, I've gotten a hold of them. This fish lacks ferocity, but it makes up for it in tenacity. Actually, our damage did jump up to 14.2 thanks to our leveling, so maybe if we eat a few more of these. We can devour up to 61 in size, which is actually pretty big. It's not this big, but that's perfectly okay, because I can turn them into bite-sized pieces. There's another level up, 16.3 damage, 200 size, all in the <laughs> form of a mean cupcake. Ooh, look who it is. Time to try the turtle again. This time, instead of doing 0.9 damage, we're doing 16.3, so this will melt through this thing in no time should be only like 15 hits or so depending on how much health they actually have it's lasting longer than i thought okay it is dead already it didn't take like 20 minutes like it did earlier this one died within 30 seconds i just realized how ridiculous my fish actually looks okay we broke the turtle down into bite sizable eatable pieces i think that was a big chunk of experience so we're up to 18.8 damage 209 size these guys i can definitely swallow whole it's just a matter of having them get close enough to do that got them both there's a few more starfish and such up here we're gonna try and get these in our mouth well we got one of them you can you know what you can go tell the other survivors we're getting so big that it's starting to be hard to see these little fish that actually put our damage up to 25 so it's getting not too bad we're not like completely completely vulnerable anymore we're still mostly vulnerable but we can actually fight back a little bit we haven't put any eels in our mouth yet can we swallow these whole we can't even do that yet that was actually a pretty good experience though so if i can just farm eels for a little bit we might be in good shape 359 or three starfishes you think the experience level would uh scale with the difficulty of fish you're eating but who am i to complain we're up to 28 now 33 damage a few more starfish we're up to 29 38 damage 266 size 86 devour size i see the shadow of something no idea what that was or where it went i can eat the eels whole suddenly so that's good i didn't realize it but i kind of went into the dangerous side of the map there's a lot of really big fish right here i might actually be able to eat a whale shark because they're about as dangerous as i am they're just a lot bigger this one might not actually be that much bigger so we're just gonna harass it for a minute and see what happens the worst it can do is like suck on my tail a little bit i don't think it even has teeth we got 38 damage so we should be able to like hurt it reasonably quick i don't know much health they have okay a new problem has arisen i got attacked by a toothbrush we're okay it's time to leave you guys can have that fight thank you so he's gonna attack that and my whale shark is just can you go away and leave my whale shark for a sec oh i thought this was a dolphin this is much more dangerous than a dolphin but still probably adequately delicious we just cannot let it bite us i think it actually might be dead already i didn't realize i was this big because i was fighting all the wrong fish Ooh, look at all that another one spawned level 35 <laughs> okay now we're getting like obnoxiously big because that's an orca damage is still only 77 but we're getting big enough we can devour 100 and something whole which isn't an orca but it's gotta be soon i think if i eat just a few of these i'll be able to go and get the whale shark and everything else in that area there's 39 we now do uh, 150 damage piece by piece we're taking over the ocean i realize now i probably did this the hard way i probably should have gone to the other side of the map like the other corner where there was probably more medium-sized fish i went from like tiny fish to large fish way too fast level 42 422 size 150 damage now this is a lovely farmable location there's three whale sharks all of which are tons of experience and tons of meat and with my 150 damage they should die actually fairly quickly uh okay i guess i'm sharing with you but that's okay i'll just take it from inside you now yeah okay suddenly we're level 49 257 damage which considering the level we are is not very much but I mean, I'll take it. Suddenly the cupcake becomes the predator. This is such a good farming spot now. There's three orcas and three whale sharks. Ooh, we found the exact spawn point. They might just continually spawn right here. That would be fantastic. All right, well, this is going to break the game because I can just sit here. Never mind, they've spawned somewhere else. But we're up to 686 size, 640 damage. We can devour 223. So we'll see if that's big enough to take down what I think are orcas in front of me. It actually might be. We're definitely pretty big. So yeah, we can take down the orcas one hit. And that leveled us up each. And here's a nice little variety of smaller sharks and that alligator thing that I'm going to ambush. Do we just one-shot it? Is it dead? Are you dead? Did we just one-shot you? Took a few bites to break it into pieces, oddly. Maybe it was already hurt. I don't know. I'm just going to keep putting things in my mouth. Level 68. I don't feel very fast anymore, but I think we're going the same speed with this bigger, so it feels slower. 
Plus, a lot of the fish are starting to avoid us now because we are rather big. I still need to be careful because I've discovered that those alligator things, for me, it's either bite them first or be bitten. Whoever does that wins. So we're not going to take that chance for a little while. We need to get bigger, clearly. We can always do a little more farming, though. Pretty sure we're going to one-shot these. I just killed all of them at once. Well, that feels pretty good. And we're going to keep leveling up 73 now. It's insane how much experience those give. Damage is up to 992. Our health is up to 1100. We need more health because I'm pretty sure these other things can bite for like 1200. Ooh, how about the orca? Get in my mouth. Can I devour these yet? I can. I can eat a whale shark whole. The devourer size is 265, they're probably 250 or something then. And they do keep spawning in right here, so I wonder if I can just hold uh, right click. <laughs> okay, maybe I can. Oh, they stopped already. This could be an interesting challenge. Okay, he clearly likes me as much as I like him. Oh, did I get him? I think I got him first. He beelined straight for me as soon as he saw me, but that is one of the legendary whales. Oh, and he's back. Well, we'll call it one in one with the legendary whale. We definitely killed it, but then it uh, sort of spawned in right on us, which wasn't great. <laughs> Long story short, we're an enormous one of these things. It's very, very dangerous. We still need to kill the Megalodon. But in order to do so, we're going to have to ambush it, and this isn't exactly an ambush predator this is a floating cupcake. Got him again. He did take a bite out of us, but only one, so he managed to survive. Uh-oh. Yeah, I really found his spawn point. As long as I can get him a few times, he'll die, but I really need him to spawn somewhere else now, because that's horrifying. Or we'll just keep winning the battles, hopefully, until we're so big that he won't eat us anymore. Level 88's already getting pretty big. Better make that level 90-something. He might not be eating us now. Nope, he's still trying, but it's not to his benefit anymore. Yeah, come on. Keep trying. I'll keep eating you and everything else. Don't you worry about it. I'm having trouble seeing now. We're too close to the top of the water and my fish is too big, so the camera's going screwy. Okay, he spawned in behind us. We're up to level 96. I didn't realize we got so high so quickly. Okay, he just keeps spawning in on top of us. Could you not? Okay, level 100. We are 1120 size. Okay, I just asked you to stop. But we're obviously pretty tough when this thing can just ambush us and it doesn't kill us. We can just turn around and kill it back considering we're this fish of all things. We're level 106. I think we're pretty much just trapped in a vicious cycle right now of this thing ambushing us until we're actually too big for it to bother with, which apparently needs to be pretty big. Oh, we one-shot it at that time. Are you still mad at us? We're so big though. Why would you do that? 1300 size up to 4,000 damage. Yeah, it's still trying to kill us. To be fair, it does take out a quarter of our health every bite, so it has a fighting chance, but not as much as we do. And we can just farm this thing all we want at this point, because we're up to level 120 already, and that's only going to keep going. <laughs> Look at the size of us now, though. Like, that's a legendary sized whale that's, like, mythically big, and we're much bigger. Level 133, we're slowly escaping the city, and I think if we kill him one more time, he won't aggro on us again, because he's too far away. But we're having trouble, like, fitting in the ocean at this point. Look at him, thinking he's going to eat this piece of meat. How about I swallow you all whole? Wow, we get some range on this sucker now. At this point, I'm just Megalodon hunting. I know it's out here somewhere. Once we see it, it's going to be very obvious because it'll be rather big. Hmm, this guy thinks he's going to get a free meal. Found him. He tried to ambush me from the right side, but I got him in three small hits. Is this his spawn point by chance? I don't know where he spawns, but he came from somewhere over here. I guess the takeaway from that should be we just ate a megalodon and made it look easy. Even he had to jump on us. But this is kind of similar to a megalodon. It looks the same. Our devourer size is over 500 at this point, and you can see why. Those are full-size hammerhead sharks, and they look like little minnows. I changed the settings to try and see a little further because I want to find where the megalodon spawns. So far, I'm not really having any luck, though. He can be very hard to find sometimes despite how big he is. Not really sure what I did there but now we can see a long ways. There's still a render distance but like we can see pretty much all the way across the map. There he is. I was looking for you this whole time. Okay we're clearly a lot bigger. We'll hopefully see that as we get a little closer. Yeah we're definitely bigger than a megalodon by quite a lot. But can we swallow it whole? No we cannot. All right well we're gonna go ahead and take a bite out of it for now. Two bites and it's eaten. 141. Okay good we found about the spawn point then because he just showed up again which is where we were earlier but he must have a few different spawn points. For now, we're going to farm a Megalodon into a big enough to swallow him whole. Get over here. No, over here. There you go. He's very hungry for those things over there. Devourer size is 546. I wonder if he's like 700 in size. He's having trouble eating us too. We might be too big so our hitbox went screwy. Don't worry, I've got all day for you. Devourer size 589. Okay, Devourer size is up to 605. Still can't consume the Megalodon like that. What about this guy? I wouldn't consume that guy though. Ha, <laughs> look at the size difference. He's trying to eat us. He just can't even get his nose in there because he's stupid. He does do some damage when he manages, his, manages to hit us, but he's got to spawn like under us. And uh, it is getting hard to see because we're getting so big, we're blocking most of the camera. We've got to be close to devouring him though. Like, look at the size of us. I think we might have just done it. Yeah, I can now devour Megalodon 683. So I wonder if he's something like 666 size. 
We're literally eating him whole right now. That's why we can't see him. We just absorb him as soon as he spawns in. He still tries to get us though, but we're also doing uh, 20,000 damage at this point. We have 2,100 size. 700 devourer size. He is still trying, but we can make ourselves bigger. I just went ahead and added a few levels. We're now 3,000 size. He's still trying because he's a madman, but we're level 260. So we're so big that the camera isn't behaving very well. I'm also going to try and get out of Megalodon zone just because he's annoying me at this point. They seem to have gotten the hint that they cannot take me on anymore. We have a vibrating fish. I've also released my fish from its earthly constraints, so we're actually technically flying in the sky right now. And that looks something <laughs> like this. It's just a giant fish floating above the ocean itself. I added a thousand levels to the fish and we hit the max size of 5,000 or what's supposed to be the max size. That's what this looks like. Well, it turns out 5,000 is still as big as you can make a fish, at least currently the way I'm doing it. I made my fish so big I got the camera literally stuck inside of it, so we're playing this in first person for a minute. This fish is definitely so big it just doesn't work anymore, but I swallowed that thing whole. Yeah, next time I'll figure out how to break the game even more.